Shell Oil is a global company, and uh, I think we employ approximately close to 100,000 people worldwide. So it's a good-sized company, and with lots of uh, diversities as well, a wide range of business as well, uh, from LNG. Of course, we mainly focus on energy business, uh, from natural gas to oil. And actually, starting last year, uh, we started to produce actually more gas than oil. The engineering definitely plays an important role in Shell because just simply because the sheer size of it and also the range of applications that are applicable in the company. It's also important in terms of safety. So you plan everything right and you can do things safely. Uh, and uh, if you don't, then uh, many unexpected scenarios can occur. And with the model tools like ANSYS or Fluent, uh, with uh, so-called DEM particle tracking type of tools, you can actually pinpoint where those uh, erosion can occur. And actually you can make modifications to your pipe at the critical area. So you don't have to over-specify your, your pipe specifications. And you can, you know, just knowing where it's going to occur and it reinforce those areas. So they, they are not only, you know, ensure that you have a much longer pipeline life, and also save you money because you only need to uh, put in critical components in the critical areas. The good thing about ANSYS is that it's a, it's a very flexible tool and it allows users uh, to have their own models attached to it easily and, the, and it allows users to do things that cannot be easily done with other uh, more restrictive uh, type of tools. So I usually recommend that, and uh, the reason is simply because, not just because of the flexibility, also because of the efficiency of it and the ease of use. There's a good potential that the uh, NCC can do a lot more, a lot more. And of course there are challenges, but uh, you know, we'll manage it. I believe NCC can manage it, and uh, make it a more efficient and realistic tool for engineering.